What's going on guys? How's everyone doing? In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to get to iOS 13.3. Whether you're upgrading from an older firmware like I'm doing here, or you're downgrading from 13.3.1, today I'm going to show you how to do that. You can see I have an iPhone 11 here and I'm super excited because this is going to be the first A13 public jailbreak. An exploit came out and Pwn is working really hard to make sure that Uncover gets updated. You guys can see here that I am on 13.1.1 and today I'm going to go over to 13.3 so that way we can wait on the best possible firmware to be jailbroken. So if you're jailbroken already, one of the things you can do to prepare your device to restore, just one thing to check off the list, is to just go in the Uncover app and make sure Restore Root FS is enabled and then press Jailbreak. It'll go through and then you'll see this notice letting you know that Root FS is going to basically kind of erase the jailbreak data on your device. Go ahead and press OK and it'll do its thing. And then when you come back up, you should be in an unjailbroken state and you should no longer see Cydia on your device. So before we get started, we're going to have to head over to the computer because there's a few things we need to do before we go to 13.3. So now the first thing that we're going to do once we're on the computer is go to IPSW.me. Once there, we're going to scroll down and find iPhone and then scroll down and find our device. I have an iPhone 11 and you can see here is iOS 13.3. At the recording of this video, 13.3 is still being signed by Apple, so you can still do this. I'll update the title and the description once you can no longer do this and once Apple kills the signing of iOS 13.3. For a little while, there were some problems with people trying to download IPSW files and getting access denied and not being able to download them. Just keep trying and hopefully it'll work. So anyway, I just recently updated macOS Catalina and things are different now. There is no more iTunes. You open up the music app. You expect to be able to connect your device on music and you expect it to be able to work. But actually, it's not in the music app. It's in the Finder app. You connect your device to the computer and it shows up in the Finder app. And once it's there, it's going to ask us to trust the device. So we have to hit trust on our computer and trust on the device as well. Oh yeah, also throughout this video, you might notice that my screen is cracked. It's actually the screen protector. I was trying to set up the stand that I have for my other phone so I could record it and my other phone actually fell on top of this phone. So that's kind of the reason why you might see that it's so dramatic. And because it was so funny and only I would do something like that, I just thought I'd talk about it. Let's get on with the rest of the video. And now here we are. It's basically everything that iTunes was and everything that it looked like, except it's in Finder now. Also, don't worry. If you're on an older Mac OS, you can still use iTunes and you can still do this perfectly fine. Now we're just going to hold down the option key and select check for update on Windows. It is shift check for update. Then you select the IPSW that you downloaded earlier. And now it's saying that our Mac will update iPhone to iOS 13.3 and we'll verify the update with Apple. So we're just going to hit update. And now this is the really weird part. In iTunes, the update process will kind of give you a status update about what was going on with your device in the restore process. However, for whatever reason in Finder, that doesn't happen. So although it is pretty similar, it is a little bit of a different process on Catalina and that's the reason why I wanted to showcase that to you guys. After so many years of seeing verifying update with Apple and that kind of thing, it's, it's, it's really weird that it's not here on Finder. So it threw me off a little bit because this is the first time I'm updating a device through Finder. So it's a little bit different, pretty much the same process. On other Mac OS versions, it'll be the same process because you just use iTunes instead of Finder. And on Windows, it'll be the exact same process as well, just using iTunes instead. So now the upgrade process is finished. It says your iPhone has been updated and it is restarting. And now it's going to go ahead and restart. And then it'll show up back in Finder. And we can verify that the iPhone is now on iOS 13.3. We didn't lose any of our data and we also didn't have to restore. So that is probably the best way to actually get on iOS 13.3. So now we have to go through the setup process of the software update. It says software update complete. And then we just have to continue to go through it. And once we do that, we can actually use the device. 
The good news is though, at this point, you can disconnect the lightning cable from your device because you do not need the computer anymore. We can go through the setup process and welcome to iPhone. Here we go. We are on iOS 13.3. If I go to settings general and about under software version, you can see it says 13.3. So we successfully upgraded to iOS 13.3 from iOS 13.1.1. I'm so glad now I'm on iOS 13.3 and I'm really excited for this jailbreak. Let me know down below in the comments if you're excited and what you might install as one of your first tweaks. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do really appreciate it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one, guys. Peace. What the? How did that happen?